anchor your life to the inspiring words that will put a rainbow in your sky. Listen to Word and Songs, a program that will introduce you to the Word of Life and beautiful music to help you experience peace and consolation. Join the Daughters of St. Paul for half an hour of Word and Songs. Happy Feast of the Holy Family, dear friend in Christ! How is your family doing during this time of pandemic? I hope and pray that your being locked down together paves the way for your family to get to know each other more, to enjoy each other's company, and to grow in your relationship with one another. Or, if the other way around is happening to your family, you're getting tired and bored with each other's presence and becoming impatient with each other's limitations. Then, you need to ask the intercession of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph to help your family be united in love, supporting one another in good times and bad. For aside from your faith in God, your family is the only real treasure you have at this time, the source of your strength, refuge, protection, and inspiration to keep going and to keep hoping amidst the pandemic. It is in your family that God is making His presence strongly felt through the loving concern you show to one another. I'm Sister Lines of the Door of St. Paul, inviting you to join me for half an hour as you ponder on the journey of faith of the Holy Family. As the year 2020 draws to a close, it is but fitting to look back and examine how we lived our family life during this time of pandemic. Has this pandemic brought us closer to God and to one another in our family and helped us become more virtuous or the other way around? Coming Your Way is a timeless hit song that depicts the first Christmas story. Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible say, Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day Heart now hear the angels sing A new king born today And man will live forevermore Because of Christmas Day Trumpets sound and angels sing Listen to what they say That man will live forevermore Because of Christmas Day While shepherds watch their flock by night They see a bright new shining star They hear a choir sing the music seemed to come from afar Now Joseph and his wife Mary Came to Bethlehem that night They found no place to bear her child Not a single room was in sight Heart now hear the angels sing new king born today and man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day trumpets sound and angels sing listen to what they say that man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day by and by they find a little nook In a stable all forlorn And in a manger cold and dark Mary's little boy was born Long time ago in Bethlehem So the Holy Bible say Mary's boy child Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. Hard now hear the angels sing, a new king born today. 
Joe Marie Chan with his inspiring rendition of the song Mary's Boy Child. On the first Sunday after Christmas, while we are still immersed in the joyous climate of the celebration, the church calls us to contemplate the Holy Family of Nazareth. During the octave of Christmas, we rejoice and celebrate the arrival of Jesus, the Son of God. He has entered into time, into human history and culture, taking upon himself all that is human to transform it all and to give it meaning. He has entered into the human family and truly become a member of every family. It is most fitting then that we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph within this joyous octave. The Gospel for today's feast presents Our Lady and Saint Joseph go to the temple in Jerusalem for the days after Jesus' birth. They do so in religious obedience to the law of Moses, which requires that the firstborn be presented to the Lord. In the Holy Family of Nazareth, God in His goodness has given us a most shining example of family life. The readings invite us to ponder the virtues and values reflected by Jesus, Mary, and Joseph in their family life together. We are called to imitate them so that we may one day Delight in the eternal rewards of heaven together with them. Loving Father, make our home in Nazareth where you may reign a holy family of love when Jesus manger lives. Help us to stay together. Joy and sorrow 
We've just heard Daniel Rose with her inspiring song, Holy Family. Friend, the Holy Family descended from Abraham, whom the biblical tradition presents as our father in faith. No wonder, in the readings for today's feast, we ponder the exemplary faith of Abraham. We admire Abraham's faith as the mother responds to God's initiative of love. The account of his pilgrimage of faith reminds us that everything begins with God, who reveals himself to us. It is not we who choose God, but God who chooses us first. In the same way, it is not we who choose our family, our parents, brothers, and sisters. Rather, it is God who places us in this family. So, in our day-to-day response to God's love in the context of our own family life, let us be mindful of this truth, that it is part of God's loving design that we belong to the family we have now. Let us be grateful to God for the gift of our family. Up next is a song of Mary and Joseph magnifying the Lord for the special privilege granted to them to be the parents of His only begotten Son. Holy Spirit fills my soul and all who seek shall come be blessed Events foretold have now occurred A child will come to bring His word Angels in all wondrous dreams and merry Child is Christ the King. Call him Jesus, heavenly song, Lord and Savior, Holy One. I fear not the days ahead. I know. Son, Lord, 
You're tuned in to Word and Songs, and this is your friend Sister Lines of Adorb St. Paul sharing with you the journey of faith of the Holy Family. Friend, the message that comes from the Holy Family is first of all the message of faith. Just like the unwavering faith of Abraham that remains steadfast amidst trials and difficulties, we are called to do the same, especially during this time of pandemic. While we encourage each other not to lose heart during this time of great difficulties, let us not forget to place our trust in God's loving care and to live our life in total surrender to His will. We are called to place God at the center of our family life. In the family life of Mary and Joseph, God is truly at the center, and He is so in the person of Jesus. That is why the family of Nazareth is holy. Why? Because it is centered on Jesus. The first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold. Okay, that was Hill Songs with their beautiful rendition of the timeless hit song, The First Noel. Friend, when parents and children together breathe in this climate of faith, they have an energy that allows them to face even difficult trials, as the experience of the Holy Family shows, for example, in the dramatic event of their flight to Egypt, a difficult ordeal. The same is true with Abraham, who after receiving the promise from God that his descendants would be numerous as the stars in the sky, had to wait very long. And finally, when the promised child was fulfilled in the gift of Isaac, the Lord again asked Abraham to offer up the only son that was given to him after a long waiting period. In all these trials, 
Abraham passed the test. Though he felt weary, despondent, and uncertain in the midst of these trials, he did not yield to these feelings but put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. Friend, this is also the kind of faith that is being asked of us during this time of pandemic. To have an unwavering faith that God is in control of our life and every situation we are in, so we have nothing to fear, as Mary and Joseph did when they submit in loving obedience to the plan of God. She was probably 14, barely more than just a child herself. When the words fell upon her ears You will give birth to a son He will be the Holy One How could she begin to comprehend? Fear must have held her frozen in that place She was told that she'd been chosen for such a task this great And tears must have filled her innocent young eyes As she realized the pain that this would bring Would she be cast away? And what would Joe? of say He had waited for so long to find a wife and build a home now suddenly the dream had disappeared She would give birth to a son That was a beautiful song by Marcia Bolland called 
Mary and Joseph song. The baby Jesus with his mother Mary and Saint Joseph are a simple but so luminous icon of the family. The light it cast is the light of mercy and salvation for all the world, the light of truth for every man, for the human family, and for individual families. This light which comes from the Holy Family encourages us to offer warmth in those family situations in which for various reasons peace is lacking, harmony is lacking, and forgiveness is lacking. May our concrete solidarity not diminish, especially with regard to the families who are in difficult situations during this time of pandemic due to illness, unemployment, discrimination, the need to isolate so as not to contaminate, and the difficulty in understanding each other due to personal differences. Let us pause for a moment and pray in silence for all these families and for our own family. God of mercy and love, be with my family during this time of pandemic. As we are facing illness and fragility, as we face physical isolation and at times aloneness, as we face irritation, fear, and anger, please be with my family and all the families of the world and help us see that we are not alone in this battle against COVID-19. Help us see that you are with us always, guiding us, strengthening us not to lose hope in your unconditional love for us. Grant us the persevering faith of the Holy Family, who remains steadfast and strong amidst great trials and difficulties. Amen. There you are, friend. I hope this episode of Word and Songs inspire you to consecrate your family to Jesus, Mary, and Joseph for the upcoming year 2021. May the Holy Family be our model and guide in living our faith life as a family. May God renew our commitment to love one another in our family and strengthen our faith, hope, and love as we journey together for the upcoming year. At this point, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the sources of my reflection. From Pope Francis Angelus' message for the Feast of the Holy Family, copyrighted by Libriria Editrice Vaticana, and pondering the word the Anna Wimway, Thank you very much for the insightful reflection. Likewise, a special thanks to all the composers, producers, and artists of the songs featured in this program. Mary's Boy Child by Jose Marichan, Holy Family by Daniel Rose, Song of Mary and Joseph, My Soul Magnifies the Lord, published by Rio UD 11, The First Noel by Hill Songs, Mary and Joseph Song by Marcia Boland, and Only Selfless Love by Jamie Rivera for our final song. Thank you very much. May you continue to inspire the world with your gift of music. And may your music always communicate the love of God to His people. To those of you who follow us in YouTube and Facebook, thank you for listening. Remember, Pauline's Radio PH is linking lives and healing hearts. And if you're searching for spiritual books and media materials that would help enrich your spiritual life, do visit any Pauline's Media Center nearest you or visit our website, www.store.paulines.ph. This has been Sister Lines of the Door of St. Paul saying bye-bye for now. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Join me again next week for another episode of Word and Songs. Stay safe, everyone. Happy Feast of the Holy Family and Merry Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. May God bless us always. Today in the world where life is born, there's a struggle that is fought to be welcomed, to be cared for, to be at home. Today, when a life seems bought and you there's a struggle to belong, to be free and to be a gift to everyone. We call our families, rise up and raise your hands as one. Come show the world the love that bonds all God's children into one. We call our families, share. Sure that's in your hands. What can save us now? What can lead us now? What can
Songs. This program was brought to you by the Daughters of St. Paul, 